Hello Floss Tube, and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would add a little bit of a beginning here so you can kind of see my little area. It's sort of straightened up. There's a few chunks on the floor still, but I've been cleaning it today. So I thought I would take you through some of what I've got here and show you a little bit over here too. This is my craft room. <laughs> It is my craft room um, to be. So basically we had friends that stayed with us and while they stayed with us, um, the room that my stuff used to be in, don't mind some of the clutter that's like laundry there and you know, the essentials, the Utz jumbo snack for my four kids. Um, but essentially, I had to pull all of my stuff out of that basement room. So over here is some fleece that I'm going to use. Okay, that was a little bit of an interruption. Sorry. So here is some fleece I am making to um, for Grace's guinea pigs for new bedding. This is a project bag that I love that I just haven't had a chance to sew together yet. This is all material for project bags that is coming up. Um, there's all my zippers, my wonder clips, um, school supplies, you know, things everybody has in their craft room. There's my sewing machine. In this bin, actually, let me move this stuff off of here. Oh, there's a whole pile of clothes on my bed that you just got to see. I just folded laundry today. My son Ryan had a minor surgery yesterday, so I get the day off today. So here are some finishing items that I've had for a while. I got all of this stuff at Michael's. They have this stuff and it's pretty inexpensive. I got this. And I really absolutely have no idea what I'm going to put on this. Something, I'm going to finish something on it. Um, this is also for finishing... Where did I get this? Christmas tree store? Yes. Christmas tree store. So stick. Mounting board. More stuff here for finishing. Uh, this was my son's. He didn't want it anymore. I grabbed it. Got a couple more things down here for that. Um, in that tote right there is a whole bunch of fabric. And in the bottom tote is a whole bunch of um, like dolls that my daughter and I were going to um, fix up. Um, in that bottom toe over there, that's full of yarn. And over there, underneath, let me just move this box and then I can show you. Um, sorry if I'm making anybody sick with all of this movement. We live around the Wegmans, as you can see. <laughs> Um, these are all of my old cross-stitching charts that I've had since I was like, I don't know, a girl. This is going to be, oh, that's a chart. Um, old fabric, stuff for my Cricut. I have some cross-stitch books in here. And then all of these are like charts that I took out of magazines. And I thought I was being so good and organizing everything. Um... There's old cross stitch books in here that I had all of the, like all of these intentions. Like when my kids were little, I was like, oh, I'm going to make these cute baby things. Guess what never happened? It didn't happen. But yeah, so this is all like, I have this book. And I know a lot of people have been looking for this. I love Paula Vaughn. So I've had, I used to collect a lot of her stuff. So I do have other charts that are hers as well, but I have this whole book. So... Um, again, that chart keeps popping up. This is baby stuff. What else do I have in here? Um, there's my whole file on Polyvon. So if you're a Polyvon fan, you're going to see a whole bunch. Let's see here. I have this one. Bedtime prayers. Um, inspired by scripture has three charts in it, I think. 
Oh, this one I loved. I have two sisters, one older, one younger. That one. And then this is Summer. Summer's Remembered. Some of these are going to be um, giveaways in future videos. Which, by the way, we will have a video, or we will have a giveaway today. And I cannot wait for you to see what that is going to be. But yeah, so lots of charts. So, yeah, so this is my craft room that is going to be a craft room again. It's just right now a crazy mouse. So here, right here, it's kind of my cross-stitch area. That right there is a cross-stitch that I saved from Goodwill last week. There's all of my floss. I wasn't going to bobbinate, then I wasn't going to bobbinate, then I wasn't going to bobbinate. There's a baby blanket that I started forever ago, but have not finished yet. Brand new knitting needles behind that for a shawl that I'm going to make. Um, and then over here, we have my cart. So on my bottom of my cart are just some hoops. Um, then I have some whips here on this part. And then obviously this is my, this is my Halloween Quaker. This is my finished piece on earth piece, which I do have a finishing drawer that I will show you. But here's my Halloween Quaker. I don't have anywhere big enough to like kind of put this. So I just kind of keep it here. And then over here underneath this, so I'll show you what's in this in a second. But these are all of my current whips. So all the whips that I'm currently working on are housed in this basket. It's a mess. But, you know, such is life. Um, this is a um, scroll stand, or um, a scroll frame. <laughs> Couldn't think of what it was for a second there, but that's a scroll frame right there that I'm probably going to be giving away because I don't like it. In this bag lives my, um, try to get this out without showing the chart, um, my Away We Ride and all of the materials that I need for that are in this lovely project bag. Isn't that great? This bag is full of floss from finished projects oh look at in there that was not a chart by the way i don't know what that is maybe it is let's see here no it's a receipt <laughs> it's a receipt but that's where like all of my de-kitted projects that i have finished i've just been kind of throwing the floss into this bag which is really bad very bad habit i know all right Thing in the house but at any rate I kind of cleaned up a little bit so that I could give you that little bit of a tour I hope that you enjoyed it and I will be seeing you in a few minutes for my regular floss to video so hello <laughs> welcome welcome I'm Kim Chamberlain the Canal Town Stitcher I'm so excited that you're here with me today thank you thank you thank you for the influx of subscriptions, um, those of you that have been commenting, I have read every one. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you for joining me um, on my cross stitch journey. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little bit at the beginning. It's hard to be a little vulnerable with the fact that my house is not perfect. Um, my house is relatively clean for the most part. Um, but this is my bedroom and in my bedroom, you know, like it's kind of the last place you clean. You always clean the kitchen, the bathrooms, the living room, the dining room. That's where we live as a family. So those rooms take priority. And because I work full time, I have four kids that are involved in lots of different things. My bedroom tends to be like that last place. And today I happen to have some time off because... My son had a minor surgery yesterday, so he's fine at doing well, but I just, this mama didn't feel right about going to work the next day. Um, unsure of how he would be feeling today, so I stayed home today to be with him. So my busy day today has been filled with laundry. I cleaned 
I went through almost all of the mail, <laughs> which is hard. Like, uh, that's not something that, you know, my husband usually takes care of a lot of that. But I went through all the mail, started loads of laundry. I made a beautiful bean with bacon soup that I'm going to be excited to eat when it's done. It's like simmering on the stove right now. It smells really good. I got so much done and none of that has been stitching. <laughs> it's been anything but, but I thought I have to get on and do a floss tube because I've had so many new subscribers. Um, my last video was on October 31st. Today is Tuesday, November 16th. So it's been just over two weeks. I have done a ton of stitching. I have new starts. I have some finishes. And so, um, as you can see, I'm very excited about getting this area of my room <laughs> taken care of so that I can actually finish some items, which hopefully will be coming very, very, very soon. So anyways, I hope everybody has had a great week. Um, the play is this week, so Grace is going to be in her play. We have, um... Football is over. I think I mentioned that before, but that's okay because Ryan is now out of, out of commission. Um, Ethan's birthday is coming up. He's going to be 17. I don't know how in the world that happened, but apparently it did right before my eyes. He's excited because he's going to get his driver's license and I'm excited because then I'll be able to send him to the store to get the stuff I forgot. <laughs> and he'll be able to pick up his brother's and sister from school when they need to be picked up and dropped off and things like that. That will alleviate some of me having to leave the house, which will hopefully give me more stitching time, right? At least that's the thought. That's the, that's the hope so that I can have some more stitching time. Um, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving, which is ugh, unbelievably next week. Um, I did get my turkey and at Wegmans they have them for 56 cents a pound if you spend $25. I was having a really hard time because Walmart has them also for 58 cents a pound um, and you don't have to have a minimum purchase. However, I could not find a turkey that was less than 28 pounds and I have never cooked a turkey that big nor would I ever need a turkey that big. So I was like, I can't. So when I was at Wegmans, I was able to find one that was much more reasonable. And of course, you can't not spend $25 at Wegmans anyway, so we were all set. I got some really nice produce there too this last time. Um, anyway, so I got that. So I'm excited about that. And I'll be making an apple pie, a pumpkin pie, and a pecan pie this year for Thanksgiving. I haven't made a pecan pie in a few years, so I'm very excited about doing that. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on Wednesday night. It's my first play since before the pandemic. My friend and I are going, and I'm really looking forward to that. And other than that, I got my booster. For those of you that are getting vaccinated, it was not bad at all. Um, I had a little bit of some soreness in the arm. Uh, it's still a little tender, actually. It's been almost a week, but a um, friend of mine came down with COVID, and I was like, okay. And she, she had a breakthrough case, but it was very, very, very mild, which is what they're saying. So she is thankful and grateful to this day that she got that vaccine. She's so happy that she got it. Um, she's completely fine now, but it was just like that kick in the pants I needed to go get my booster because if you're not aware, I don't know if I've mentioned it or not. I might not have, but I am a type two diabetic. So I decided that I should probably get my booster. So I did that. And other than that, for the last two weeks, I have been stitching. So now that that we've gone through my whole life story and you've seen all of my mess, <laughs> in my house, well, at least in this bedroom, in my stitchy area. Um, let's talk about some stitching, okay? So I've done no knitting. I've done no crocheting this week. Although I did promise my son that I would work on his blanket, so I better get on that. These chilly mornings, though, tend to be the time that I really want to work on that because his blanket is a full-size blanket, so it's 220 stitches wide. Excuse me. And so far... 
it's easily four and a half, five feet long. Could be longer. Four and a half at least, five feet. I'll measure it and let you know next in the next video. It's the, by far the largest blanket I've ever made. I've never made a blanket this big. But it's toasty. <laughs> and so now that we're turning into like fall-ish time of year, it's a better time for me to work on that. So I'll hopefully have that done soon. I promised him by his birthday and his birthday was October 25th and it's still not done. So let me just say he's a very forgiving child and I'm thankful for that. Okay, so let's talk about my stitching. I had um, one fully finished item. Well, not fully finished, but one finished item. Oh, hang on. I have to get up because I am not prepared today. by the way, is my travel stitchy bag. This is a Vera Wang bag that I got from Goodwill. I think I spent like $8 on it. Anyways, it's got all of my travel stitches in it. So that means like anytime I go somewhere, I take this. Oh, I forgot there's a candy bar in it yesterday <laughs> from, the, uh, from the hospital. I was like, I am a little nervous. Then I didn't eat it, so I was good girl. All right, let me empty out this bag so I can perhaps find all the pieces I worked on. All right, that's empty. Here's the mouse. Oh, brother. This is why you watch me, because I'm funny, right? <laughs> because I'm a joy. Because I can never find anything that I'm looking for. And I'm always looking through this. But at least now you have an idea of where it is and what I'm looking through. <laughs> looking through my bag of whips. Because somewhere in here, oh, it's in here. I had a saff. Now a saff in this cross-stitch world is a start and finish. Where's my headphones? I was looking for those yesterday. So I started this and finished this since my last Floss 2 video. So this is a furry tails chart. It is from the World of Cross Stitching magazine. I'm pretty sure I said it was like it was like two issue number 284. Pretty sure. Um, it doesn't have a date on it. Anyways, so I stitched up this beautiful sunflower mouse for a friend of mine. I'm going to make it into a magnet for her. It came out so, so, so cute. Um, I did this on a piece of 14 count Ada that I had had in my stash forever and a day. Like probably from the time I was 20, maybe. I don't know, it was in there for a long time. White Ada. And there she is. Isn't she so adorable? Oh my gosh. And I thought the back stitching was going to be a pain in the butt, but it really wasn't. It was super easy. So there she is. That's my staff. Love her. She's going to make the cutest little magnet. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do it, but I think I'm going to get like a, like a hoop maybe. I thought she would look so nice on their refrigerator. They just moved into their apartment. They were actually the people that were staying here. And um, they just moved into their apartment. And this will be so cute on the refrigerator. And wait until you see. I have a whole bunch of st uh, charts that I printed um, the other day. And a couple of them are more of these mice. Because they are just super easy to stitch up. So incredibly fun. This really did not take long at all, and I really loved it. All right, so that is one start. The other start I had was a Wavy Ride by Blackbird Designs. In my last video, I talked about how much I love this chart and had to have it. 
and I changed this because you cannot get garden gate. You just cannot. You need 15 yards of it and it is impossible to find. The other one that I'm finding that is hard to find too is Onyx. So I might go to Hobby House and try to see if I can um, use something else. I looked up, I looked it up and the um, Gentle Arts, not Gentle Arts, um, Weeks Dye Works Charcoal looks like it might work. So I'm going to look at the colors. Anyways, I'm stitching this on 32 count um, Antique Lamb's Wool by Witchell, which I mentioned before, I, I don't mind the stiffness of this linen. I actually prefer it because it makes it very easy to stitch it in hand. And instead of the Garden Gate, I'm using Weeks Grapevine. And it is coming out so incredibly pretty. I am so happy with my choice. But the only problem was where I started this. So I'm hoping that I have enough room at the top. I'll definitely have plenty of room on those sides. When I started it, I, I did a, a left hand start and I started here. And didn't realize like how much further up that's going to be up there. So I think it's going to be okay. But it's definitely going to be up much higher to the top than I had thought it was going to be. So hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, then I'll tear it out and I'll start again. But I'm hoping I don't have to do that. Anyway, so here is my start. I started on the border. And I love how this is coming out. Even though I don't have the garden gate, I'm not upset about it. Not upset at all. Because I think that it's going to be beautiful. And this is Grapevine by Weeks. There's my little start there. I haven't worked on it in a little bit because I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do about the, um, the Onyx. It says you can use $37.99, but I'm kind of thinking that I need the variegation. So that's kind of been my hold up on that. Okay. What else have I been working on? Well, oh. Let's talk about my 25-7 piece. Let's do that because that is super duper exciting. So I'm doing Hello Pumpkin by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. This is my 25-7 piece. So this is the piece that I work on for 25 minutes a day, seven days a week. And I did that with Peace on Earth and finished that. That was a pretty big finish. I'm going to put a picture of Hello Pumpkin right here. I told myself I cannot start Hello Dear until Hello Pumpkin is complete. And I cannot wait to show you this because I am so far on this. So almost done. It's not even funny. All right. So here it is. Oh, I have to pull it back so you can see it. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. So, obviously, I have done a lot since the last time we spoke. The whole tree is done. Now I'm working on the two pumpkins at the bottom. A little bit of grass. There's a mushroom also down there. But this is, like, within a week, guys. So, one more week of 25-7 and I should have this done. And I will be so excited. I love the 25-7. I will never not have a 25-7 project after this. Like after after getting Peace on Earth done and working on this one, like I will never not have that in my rotation. I will always have a piece that I work on every day. It's going to be for a new start. All right. So let's talk about my WIPGO projects. So WIPGO is uh, Jessie Marie Does Stuff. She um, wanted to work on projects that she had started that had probably been sitting in a whip pile a little too long. And 
So she uses Wipgo. So every month she pulls two numbers and you basically do a bingo board. So here's my bingo board, my Wipgo board. There's 25 numbers on it and every month Jesse pulls two numbers and you work on those projects, whatever they are. So this month she pulled 14 and 16. So 14 is Cute Bird, which I have not started yet. Cute Bird number three, 430, um, which I have not started yet. And then the other one is Long May She Wave. So number 16 is Long May She Wave. So let's look at my progress on this one. Long May She Wave is Stitching with the Housewives. It is this one right here. And I am so excited about this. I'm doing this with all the called for DMCs. So, I have worked on this. This is supposed to be 10 hours. And I have worked on this at least six, I would say. I'm gonna take it off the cue snap so that you can see it. It's on an eight by eight cute snap. I'll try to get something off of a cute snap. It's not, ow, not that much fun. It's actually easier when you have fabric on it. Just rolling it away. <laughs> That side. Now here's another problem and I will explain it when I get it off. All right. This is a pretty serious problem I've got going on here, guys. Come on, how in the world did that happen? Oh, good Lord. Heavens to Betsy Kim. This is why you watch me, because I'm so silly. <laughs> because I talk to myself all the time. Hello, it's a trait. My mother was the one who started that, so you can blame her. All right, so let me show you my progress, and then I will tell you what the problem is. Yes, it's again another edging issue. <laughs> all right, so this is being done on 32 count... Lugana in the color charcoal by Zweigert. And at first I was having so much trouble seeing this, but now I don't have a single ounce of trouble watch, like seeing this and I prefer to stitch it at night actually. So here is my progress. Now before, all I had done was just the flagpole. So I've done all of this work since then. All of this vine work, all of these flowers, this chicken, all of it since I last showed you this. Here's my problem. Look where she is. Look where the bottom is. There's going to be maybe an inch and a half at the bottom. So we will have to see about that. But I love this. I did change the colors, so I changed the colors um, a little bit. I said all the called for DMCs, but I, I lied because I'm doing it with B5200 for the white. Excuse me. And 498 for 3777 because I like that red better. Everything else is the same. Call me a liar if you want to. That's okay. I don't mind. But anyways, I love how it's coming out. I love it. So. So there. Oh my goodness. You're going to be like, from my first videos to this one, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, what in the world happened here? All I have to say is I don't have any excuses. And I don't know why all of a sudden my nose is getting all stuffed up. This lives in a Amazon project bag. All right. So I haven't started the other one yet. So 
that's all for Whipco. Talked about my 25-7 project. I did my new starts. Now I can talk about my whips. All right. So, first one I'm going to show you is Blackbird on a Pumpkin. I was actually, Blackbird's on a Pumpkin. I was actually working on this at the hospital yesterday. And guys, this is so beautiful. So there is this. It is by Rosewood Manor. Um, Rosewood Manor. I don't know where the other little sheet is. I had another little sheet that had all the symbols and colors on it, but I pretty much have those memorized now, so I guess I didn't really need it for right now. It's got to be somewhere around here. I'm going to lose that, and then that's going to make me sad. All right. So I'm using the called for DMCs. This has a lot of silk in it. And I was like not wanting to use the silk. So I am doing this in the called for. Oh, my needle is stuck in there. DMCs. So here it is. I'm doing this on 32 count vintage country mocha even weave and look at that look at the colors on this guys I love them they're so bright and cheerful very fall like this is proving to be a very very nice stitch very easy and every time you get done with one of these little motifs you feel like you've accomplished something so there's a whole bunch more on this side and then a whole bunch at the top, but I think it's going to be cute. It's going to, it'll be done by Thanksgiving, I think. Thanksgiving is next week. Maybe it'll be done by next week. Who knows? Okay. So there's Blackbird on a pumpkin. The next one that I will show you, it's an older whip that I took with me um, to my daughter's writing lesson this past week and worked on a little bit. And that is Cozy Cardinals. This was in the 2020 um, Cross Stitch, just Cross Stitch, yeah, 2020 Just Cross Stitch magazine. Cozy Cardinals. I'm doing this on a piece of Whisper, maybe? It's a 25 count. This was back when I was doing things on 25 count because I thought 32 counts too hard. Now everything I stitch is on 32 count. So funny. Anyhow, I did some more work on this part. So before I had all of this cardinal done, by the way. And so now I'm branching into this section here. This is another pine cone right here. And then I branched over so that I can start the other cardinal that will be here. I don't know if it's going to fit the entire design because it's on 25 count. And this was a newbie problem that I had that I was like, oh, this, is, this should definitely fit. Yeah. I didn't measure it. Mom. Yes. I'm doing my floss tube video. Watch. Okay. So, the next piece I'm working on is Country Cottage Needleworks Santa's Sampler. And I had started this back during Mania. And something about the snow that we got earlier in the week was like making me want to stitch on this. So, I pulled it out and did some work on it. I'm stitching this also on a piece of 32 count um, antique lamb's wool linen, Belfast linen by um, Witchelt. And here is where I am so far. There's my needle. Stuck right in the middle of it. I always get interrupted, guys. That's the problem. I have four kids. I don't know what to say. Anyhow, I got a lot done on that. Finished this whole ho 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 thing and started working in here where the stockings are hung 
This again is another very easy piece, really easy chart, and it's stitching up very quickly. So I would think that I would probably have this done by Christmas. That's the goal anyway. But I do have a lot of Christmas stitching, so who knows, maybe. And I printed a whole bunch of stuff off of the internet. All right, so there's that one. Then I've been working on Tonight is Halloween. This is by Kathy Barrick. I'm trying to find the actual cover sheet. Stitching this and all the called for DMCs. And I'm stitching this on a piece of, this is Whisper, so I don't know what the other one was. Blue something. Ice blue, blue ice something, I don't know. Anyways, this is on Zweigert 32 Count Belfast Linen in the color Whisper. I think it's like a grayish. And here's where I am so far. Loving, loving, loving this. Did I say that enough? I love stitching on this. It is so easy to stitch on and it's going to be incredible when it's done. So, I think I'm doing pretty good on this. This was an October start. Oh my gosh, my allergies today are killing me. Why? Anyhow. And they just started just when I sit down to film too. Because I have been perfectly fine all day. And the minute that I sit down, they're like, nope. All right, so this is a freebie chart by the Tiny Modernist that I got off of her website. It's called Autumn Cross Stitch Pattern. It is a terrible copy. I apologize for the copy because my printer wasn't printing anything in blue or green at the time. So it, everything came out purple. So that is what it looks like. I made a huge mistake on this but no one will ever know. You know that I made a mistake, but I'm not gonna point it out to you. And unless you've stitched this before, you won't know just by looking at it. All right, so here is where I am. I had to do some frogging, guys. There's a little bit of yellow floss because I don't know what I was doing. I stitched it in the, the completely wrong spot. So anyways, there they are, my cute little squirrels sharing their little acorn. And this is being stitched on 18 count oatmeal, one over one. And they're cute. I started this on Halloween and who knows, maybe I'll have it done by next weekend. Probably not, but maybe. This lives in a little project bag that I made for my daughter, but then she never claimed. So guess what? I get it. I get to keep it. Woohoo! This was actually the very first project bag I ever made. And it's so cute. Oops, I'm showing you the chart. That's okay though, because it's free. It's a free chart. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose sleep over that because you can get it for free. Alright. Next is It's the Most Wonderful Feast of the Year because why wouldn't I stitch on this during Thanksgiving? This is Sue Hillis Designs. I got this from 123 Stitch last year. I started it three times during the month of May and finally landed on this. So the first two times I started it was on the wrong fabric. Then I got the right fabric and then I did the wrong colors and then I decided that the wrong colors were going to be it. So this is where I am on that. This is also 18 count. Um, this is on time, 18 count time. By Picture This Plus, I believe. It's on Zweigert, so I would say Picture This Plus. Anyways, so I got, this headdress is not quite done yet, but I didn't feel like keeping going on it because I wanted to get the letters in. So I did all of this from last week to this week. I'm working on the pie right now. And I just found one of the colors that I needed. And if 
put it over here? No. Can I find it? No. 436 it is. Is this it right here? Yes. I need this color to finish the pie. Alright. Since we last spoke, I worked on my Mythical Creatures by um, Darling and Whimsy Design. I worked on the Unicorn, which I said I was going to, and I did. This is on 18 Count Natural Ada by Zweigert. And now it's coming, now you can see it okay. Like when I was stitching it, I was so disappointed because I didn't feel like you could see the unicorn. But now you kind of can. So let me just kind of open this up so you can kind of see this. So I did all of this with DMC um, 4507, which is a variegated. And so you can see, and then I'm doing the unicorn in white with the, um, with the horn and everything, and the tail was going to also be in the variegated floss. But I wasn't happy because I didn't think you could see the unicorn. But I guess you can now. Maybe it was because I was doing it at night. I don't know. It's B5200 I'm using, but I just felt like you couldn't see it that well. But I guess you can, I guess. Anyways, these are for Christmas, so I really want to get them done. Um, been working on these for a while. And then I have, I purchased more because, gosh, you know, you can't have enough of these little designs. So I got a fox, a sheep, a squirrel. <laughs> what else did I get? I don't know. They're all on my, um, they're all on my Etsy. I'll show them to you when I pull them out to start them. Okay, so then, let me just make sure that that's all. I didn't show you this, and I should have showed you this in the last video, but I'm going to show it to you now. It's Night Flight by the Prairie Schooler. And I have been working on this quite extensively. I just showed the chart by mistake. Hopefully you don't get enough of a screenshot to do anything with it. And this is where I am with it. So it's almost there. This is going to go in the box because I will pull this out in January. I'm not going to be doing any Halloween um, stitching um, for the next month because I am going to be focused on Christmas stitching. So this will come back out in January and play. It's going to, I don't know if this will be on my whip go board or if other projects will be on my whip go board because I do have some that I really want to focus on. All right. I don't think there's any more in here that... I worked on on purpose anyway all right so there are all of my whips very good all right so now let's talk about haul well I didn't buy anything but I want to show you everything that I printed from the internet so I was on Owl Forest Embroidery they have all these free charts and I printed three, three free charts from them. Yes. I also printed a whole bunch of charts from Readly, for my Readly app, from the World of Cross Stitching magazines, and Cross Stitching Gold magazine. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe my allergies are like, getting to me now. So bad. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to go get my iPad and show you those. That's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back.
while I was up, I decided to get all of the things that I had plans to work on. It's like, I might as well get this. All right. So I printed off some fabulous free charts from Owl Forest. Wait till you see these. It's crazy. I cannot believe that they are free. And some of you might already know this, but Owl Forest. If you don't, go to Owl Forest Embroidery. They have a ton of free charts. My husband was blown away. He could not believe that some of these charts were for free. All right, the first one I got is called Pumpkin Color Autumn. Oops. And there it is. I apologize for the glare, guys. This is free on the Owl Forest Embroidery website. And not only is it free, but they give you the DMCs that you can use to stitch it. So you don't even have to buy the floss from them. Although you could. And their flosses are absolutely beautiful. But I'm probably going to stitch this in DMC. So there's the first one. Totally free chart. You're going to be running to Owl Forest when you're done looking at this. Alright. The next one that I got. Completely free chart. Is called... Why is it? It's doing a circle of death thing. It's called Autumn Cat. Autumn Cats. And there's that beauty. This is also for free. It is amazing. And I love it. And you should love it too. No, just kidding. <laughs> if it's not your thing, it's not your thing, but... My husband was like, we don't have any cats. I said, it's for like halloween -y time. It's like a black cat. And then this one I got, and now I have to think about it because my husband didn't really love it, but I like it. It's called Pumpkins, Pretty Pumpkins is what it's called. And maybe it's because of that big yellow squash. It's like, uh, I don't know if I really love that. But I'm not going to do this on this fabric, which is like a ginger, gingery, goldy color, orangey color. I would do it on Vintage Country Mocha because that's what I have. Then there's a couple of other charts that I want to get. Oops. So this one, Ice Hot Fairy Tales 2. I mean, who doesn't need a little cabin in the woods with a fox? This is free. I did not print this one, but it's coming. <laughs> After the first of the year, probably. And then I also really, really, oh no, I printed this one because I wanted to do these. Cats and Owls. These are some Christmas decorations. I did print these because I do plan on making these. because They're so cute. The Christmas tree. So I did print those. And then the last one that I'm going to do eventually, not right now, because it's enormous, but this is the um, Emerald City. This is a free uh, chart, like I said, guys, a free chart on Owl Forest Embroidery, and it is the Wizard of Oz, and the flying monkeys are so cute and amazing. I showed this to my husband. He was like, oh my goodness. Even if you wanted to do just sections of this, you could. Like if you just wanted to do like Dorothy and the Scarecrow and the Tin Man and the Lion, you could do, you could, you know, mix and match to do the things that you wanted to do. But I love this. So eventually I will. So those are my free charts. So that is my 
advice to you. Go get something for free today. All right, so what did I print from Readly? Well, Readly, if you do not know, and let me show it to you. I can actually show it to you. I won't show you any of the charts in it because that would be wrong, but I can show you. So on my iPad, excuse me, my Readly app. So here's my Readly app, okay? So say I'm looking at Cross Stitch Crazy. All right, so here are all of the um, all of the Cross Stitch Crazy magazines. They go back all the way to like 2014. So they have a ton of them, guys. I mean, look at these are all full of charts. The they have cross the world of cross stitching, just cross stitch, cross stitch gold, cross stitch crazy and others. And then if you like to quilt, the, all the quilting magazines are on here. If you like to cook, all the cooking magazines are on here. It is an app. The app is free, but the um, but the subscription is $12.99 a month. And if you ask me, it's well worth it. It's well worth it for all of the magazines that you have access to. So I'm willing to pay for it. All right, so I can't show you this one because there's too many charts on that one. This one I can show you because I can fold it. All right, so here's, remember when I said I got some more mice. So here's Furry Tales Pil Pilgrim Mouse. This is in the World of Cross Stitching Magazine. Don't ask me what number it is because I don't know and it doesn't tell me. But there's the mouse. So adorable. Then I also printed Fabby's Master Class. I just thought this was so cute. It is adorable. This is also the World of Cross Stitching Magazine. So cute. This has some specialty stitches in it. Not sure how I feel about those, but you know when the time comes. Here's another mouse. This one is called Elf Mouse. Elf Mouse is so cute. There's Elf Mouse. Can't get enough of him. Then we have Mitten Mouse. Again, the World of Cross Stitching Magazine. She's adorable too. These I think are gonna be ornaments for my nieces. Pretty sure actually. Then I found this one which is called uh, Bird Cushion. Is that what it's called? Yes, Bird Cushion. That's not what I think of when I see this. It's like more of a winter bird. But this also came out of the World of Cross Stitching Magazine and there's that chart or that um i don't know that i would make it into a pillow like this one is but i just really loved this i love the silver and the red this will go in my dining room so nicely in the christmas time so those were all the charts that i printed so now let's talk about all the charts that I've had on in my stash that have been waiting for this time of year. All right. All right, so this is Colorful Cats. This is in Lemonade. I really liked this one, but I changed, I'm changing all the colors on this. So this is gonna be for a friend's daughter and I am doing it in um, teals and rose gold and it's going to be gorgeous then i have the prairie school santas so for 2004 which is the year my son ethan was born his is the threading santa so this santa right here so it's 2004 
So I'm going to be stitching this one. Then I'm gonna stitch the 2010, which is for my son, Adam. So there's the 2010. Adam was born in 2010. This one is the 2008, which is my daughter, Grace. And this is the 2006, which is for my son, Ryan. And then this one here, which one is it? And to all a good night, no. Good boys and girls, this one right here is the 2000 preschooler Santa, and that was the year that TJ and I got married. So we're gonna do that one, I'm gonna do that one. And then I chose the 2021 Santa because I loved it. <laughs> I'm a big Woodland the Animal um, fan, so you got me with the snowy owl and with the raccoon, and it's just so cute. I had to have that one. Then um, Candy Cane Lane was shown to me on somebody else's video. I can't remember whose. It was a long time ago. And this is by Brenda Gervais. And I had to have this. And um, it was hard to find. But I found it at Hobby House Needleworks. And so I'm going to be stitching this. Candy Cane Lane. I love this. Had to have that. Little House Needleworks Hope, which I would, I'm in love with this little series, this little sheep series. I love this too. And I'm going to continue to work on my Cozy Cardinals, my Santa's sampler, and which is going to be coming out probably after Thanksgiving for a finish, and that is Quaker Snowflakes. This actually might be my next 25-7 piece. I've been working on this. This was my New Year's start. I started this on New Year's Day. I'm doing the one in blue with all the called-for MPIs on a piece of blue azure, 32 count. And let me tell you guys, I had so much trouble with this when I first started it. And now it's pretty easy for me to stitch on it, but like, it's such a delicate piece. But I love it. And this is where I am on that. So I really want to get this out and really like focus on a finish for this one. This might be my 25-7 piece after I'm done with Hello Pumpkin. My only complaint is that the silk picks up all the oils from your skin and it all turned yellow on me. No matter how much I cleaned it. All right. I think that's it for today. Yeah. Um, I hope everybody has a blessed day. I hope everybody has a blessed week. And maybe, maybe this weekend, I can come in with a weekly update instead of this bi-weekly update because this is going to be a long video. Sorry. I hope everybody has a great one. I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I almost forgot the giveaway. It's because I hadn't hit 250 subscribers until this last week. Goodness gracious, Kim. Pull, pull yourself together. Let me go get the giveaway. All right, guys, here's my first giveaway. Summer's Remembered. This is Paula Vaughn. You're going to get two charts in this one. So you get this beautiful quilt and that beautiful quilt. 
I have no idea how much this chart is worth. I'm sure it's worth something. Look at how much, look at how much I paid for it. $2.50. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. So this will be giveaway number one. And you must be 18 years old. Please subscribe to the channel. And for this one, I think I want to know what your favorite Thanksgiving side dish is. And if you feel inclined, share the recipe. That would be fun, wouldn't it? So your favorite um, Thanksgiving side dish. So I guess for the random picker, the word would be Thanksgiving. I think that's good. Yes. So my favorite Thanksgiving side dish is that's me, the teacher in me, <laughs> that says, please use a complete sentence that has the question and the answer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you want this, you're going to give me your favorite Thanksgiving side dish and the um, word Thanksgiving should be in your comment. You need to be 18 years old so that I can get your address from you. And um, please follow me on Instagram. You can follow me at Kimberly.Chamberlain.14. Um, that's where I post a lot of my progress on my um, cross stitch pieces. And I hope everybody has a great week. I'm so excited about this giveaway. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for coming back to watch me. All of you that have already been subscribers for the long haul. I appreciate you and care about you and hope that you have a great rest of your week. Bye now.